it looks super pretty. And I'm super excited for my Griesköpfli. A good I Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. Carnivore girl here. And what do I have here? Griesköpfli. So originally, of course, Griesköpfli is um, sweet and it's made from semolina and sugar and probably vanilla, maybe milk. I don't quite remember this one, 100% carnivore. I am basically making my ex semolina, but uh, not over a water bath in here, because I want to make a lot. Um, I just use one of these. So for ex semolina, it's totally okay to use uh, pasteurized egg whites from the carton. So one of these is in here. And so this time with a little bit of a twist, I put French vanilla flavored seltzer water, 200 milliliters in here, because I really would like to try the examolina to get that flavor. But I don't know if it will work because in order to get examolina, I have to let all the water evaporate already this has a lot of water and now with this the 200 milliliters it has even more water so it will probably take a while so it's in this pot on the highest heat and uh, at the beginning it's not that important to constantly stir because it's warming up there's also salt in here and uh, but now it's starting to foam and when it's starting to get a little bit thick, then you gotta stir constantly, like stirring, 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 so it won't um, sit on the bottom and you get those nice curves. But yeah, here is a lot of liquid water in it that needs to evaporate. So this will probably take a while. So you see now it's starting yeah, it's uh, boiling, so I'm turning the heat down to low. But I'm just stirring, 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 and wait until all, the, almost all, the water evaporates. I don't, you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna add a little bit more now. So, it's like a little bit, but I have to evaporate it. So, I see now it's more liquid. Just hope it will take on the flavor. We will see. <laughs> you can see there's still, see there's still a lot of liquid. When you like stop stirring, then kind of the liquid is coming up here. But um, 
I'm gonna continue with my recipe. I'm gonna turn off the stove so it's still warm. I have here a beef gelatin, that one here. Um, seven grams. So I'm gonna put all that in here. Mix it well. So I want to do that while this is still hot. And here, I couldn't decide, so I'm probably going to use both beef flour and egg flour. A uh, beef flour recipe is here. So I'm thinking if I should add them already now or maybe later. I think I'm going to do it later. So, ooh. I want to put it in the strainer. Oh yeah. Oh, look, there's so much liquid. Do you see all that? Oh, there's so much liquid. Yeah. When I make examolina the usual way, without any seltzer water, there's never that much liquid. And sometimes I don't even have to strain it. I usually do. But so, yeah, that one for sure. Oh, there's already so much. There's so much liquid in here. Yeah, definitely want to strain this. You don't really want to push. Oh, I think there's some gelatin I didn't really mix on there. You don't really want to like squeeze that down and push because it will um, go through the strainer. A little bit like this is okay but usually I just do that and now I just leave it for a while I want to let it cool off anyways and I'm just gonna leave it like that in the meantime I want to grease up this um, piece of saran wrap and here is uh, tallow from the freezer frozen tallow and it's gonna grease it up Egg white is very sticky. So now I put it in here. And yes, I could also totally um, just grease up the form without the plastic wrap. This one is a bitch uh, too. I tried to put this one in here, but it, it doesn't really work. So I don't want to deal with that right now. And this one is so, so sticky. Even if you grease it up, it's like... It's so bad to work with, so I don't want to do that. Here's the egg semolina, a little bit cooled off, and oh my gosh, there's so much liquid in here. I usually drink that or use it uh, for a soup or something. I usually just drink it out. It's super delicious. So I'm just going to put that in here. As I mentioned, I couldn't decide if, beef fla if I should use beef flour or egg flour. So I'm just going to use both. And here is egg flour. By the way, um, again, both seven grams, but maybe it's a lot. Let's use, let's use a bit of the egg flour. Oh yeah, fork works well. Some of the beef flour. Yeah, I don't want to use too much because otherwise it will um, get become too much color. I just want it like this looks good, like. Yeah. Well, you can use as much as you want. Just gradually add some more and see how it looks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here because now I wanna press it down. I wanna press everything nicely together. So it will stick together, so it's not going to be loose. Oh, I think that's perfect. That amount for this ball. Look at that. Okay, perfect. Now I actually want to close it up. I can even push. Oh, hey, yeah, there's still liquid. Ooh, you, you will never get all the liquid out. Otherwise, you would have to dehydrate it. So, yeah, I don't need to push too much, push the liquid out. But 
yeah push it nicely together so it gets nice and compact so now i'm going to put it into the fridge for at least four hours i would say kind of depends well if you have a big bowl or how much you make but or the best would be overnight fuck that happens all the time when i don't read my notes i forgot something but look how nice it's already it actually already worked look i just took it out haha <laughs> you could eat, eat it warm like this but uh, actually it it uh, kind of sucks it looks nice it would work like that it would be nice like that i should do it like that but in my notes i wanna put a whipped egg white underneath to make it like more airy so i wanna try that so i really quickly whipped one egg white and this egg white can't be from the carton that's an egg white. well it was in the freezer but it's from an egg i um separated it and here if you want to know how to separate eggs and uh i just put it in a freezer that's totally fine but so egg white test totally great yeah my problem is I write my notes into the phone and my phone is here on the tripod and I don't feel like taking the phone off the tripod or to turn it so I can read my notes. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just do what I remember and then later on I read my notes and then fuck, I forgot something. Okay, so maybe I'm going to destroy the whole thing now because actually, as you just could see, it worked great the way it is. But um, yeah, so let's try what I actually, what my idea is. So one egg white, I wanna, yeah, fold it under. So, ooh, one doesn't look that much. Maybe I need to do another one. Uh, let's see. So you uh, cut and fold, cut and fold. Yeah, one doesn't look like a lot at all. With folding egg whites, under whatever you gotta be patient so so it doesn't lose its volume okay so i uh mixed two egg whites whipped egg whites underneath here and honestly i don't even know if it makes a difference or not but it was in my notes and i i just wanted to try it like this so i wanted to do it so now just the same again Put a little bit in here, push it down and put more in it. Okay, so now it's done again into the fridge for at least four hours. Well, as you could see last time it already um, got firm so fast, but I don't know. I would leave it in the fridge for at least two hours or overnight. So also here, I have to say now that I use that whipped egg white, you see this? I have some, ooh, I think it unwhipped itself again. No, it just, yeah, that liquid again. So I do have more, I see it, more than before liquid in here, but I mean, I use gelatin, so it shouldn't matter. Again, honestly, I don't know if the whipped egg white makes a difference or not you could totally leave it out i just wanna to be true to my um recipe and also if i wouldn't have tried it then i wouldn't have figured out oh it probably doesn't make a difference so i took it out of the fridge and as i mentioned you should this is the <laughs> this is the um liquid from that when i put it through the strainer um so as I mentioned, usually I just drink it right away when it's still warm and super um, delicious. But this time I also put it in the fridge and uh, look, I actually have ooh nice, cool jello because I use gelatin. Yeah. And um, this has, uh, should have some vanilla flavor. Mm. So I could also put that um, on top of that one here well when it's out uh, let's check that one here first so um and as i mentioned the plastic is not needed so with the plastic it should come out so easily well i could just basically oh wow it really sticks there oh well, let's so try Oh, I 
can even form it here at the end. Nice, really nice. Ah, so as I mentioned, I could put some of that on top of it, but uh, I don't want to because I used it for something else. So it's actually my leftover. It's um, carnivore jelly. Here is a recipe for carnivore jelly. And I made it with a little bit of cherry flavored um, seltzer. So, of course, I could also have used the vanilla flavored seltzer to give it even more of a vanilla touch. I could just put the whole thing on top, but I think, ooh, ooh, this side is nice. Ooh, look. I think I'm gonna just like cut some pieces off. So, like that. I think I already destroyed it. Because I could also like cut the circle out or with uh, whatever cookie cutter you want, you could cut something out. And as I mentioned, this here is um, actually left over, so I use it for something else. So usually leftover stuff doesn't look very nicely anymore, but could also have... No, I destroyed it. I totally destroyed it. I think I'm just gonna so put it on like that. It looks super pretty. I'm super excited for my Gries Köpfli. A good I, I actually first, I want some, oh, here, without the uh, carnivore jelly. Look, so really just from that. Super refreshing. I'm trying to taste the vanilla. Okay, honestly, I don't know. I don't think so. If I maybe would have one next to me made without the vanilla flavor, and then I try like right after each other, and I could say, oh yeah, it's different. But just like that, no, I don't taste it. It really just tastes like egg, <laughs> egg white, but I love it. I love it. I love um, exomelina. I love that anyways, and I love this consistency. It's like so good. Okay, so yeah, let's take some with egg, with carnivore jelly. Well, the carnivore jelly, I have to admit, is not super tasty. I usually just use it for decoration. But I still eat it then, um, but it's not like, wow, it's so super good. Well, it depends. That one, let me see. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but I use it mainly for decoration, I have to admit. Yeah, yeah. But then I still eat it. Mmm. Oh yeah, mixed together is cool. Mixed together is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the carnivore jelly wouldn't look so cool, I wouldn't use it at all. But um, mixed with something else, it's it's good. And even if you don't want to eat it, it's basically made out of a waste product anyways. So even if you throw it away afterwards, it's still so cool to look at. Really good. I love it. I love such stuff. <laughs> Servus! Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy the next level cooking show.